Jake Solomon, hello. Hello. That was me starting the video if it wasn't clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to have a look at War of the Chosen today. I think we get to look at quite a lot of it too. Yes, yeah. We, we have, the, we're, we're playing through um, a mission that we call Lost and Abandoned, but mm -hmm. we're also here on the GS game so we can look at new stuff as well. Oh, the Lost and Abandoned sounds like it might involve the weird undead. Uh, like they're not undead, they're okay. mutated. mutated. It's totally sorry. different. They don't look like oh zombies God, at all. You just ruined my vision. <laughs> they're not zombies at all. Yes, they're zombies. Um, they're, the, they're like the last kind of zombies we haven't done, because I think we've done zombies every which yeah, way, sure. yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is the last kind, it's the swarming kind. Um, yeah, so we'll play a mission, Lost and Abandoned. Okay. We're going to see the Chosen, we're going to see the Lost. It's really uh, it shows off a lot of new tactical stuff, um, and then of course here we are looking at the Avenger. Is there anything that we should, before we jump into, I can see that there's a, something we need to do over here. Yeah, um, it's right there. Should, should I start there or is there Yeah, you can, you can start there actually. That's, so that's, what that's telling you right there, so you see those icons when soldiers have... Oh, it's a bund! That's right, right look at that, okay. see the hand, the yeah, hand yeah, holding? Yeah. I see it. Um, so yeah, so here we are, here are two soldiers. Maximilian and Jamie. That's right. And so this just means, so if, uh, if you haven't followed some of the news that's come out from all of the Chosen, this means that they've gone on enough, uh, gone enough missions together that their relationship's been formed, and they, like, there are some abilities that can be unlocked. That's right, and it's modified by the fact that the soldiers have to have high compatibility, and so every soldier has random compatibility. Some of the soldiers just don't have very low compatibility, and so, you know, these two have high compatibility, and they went on missions together enough that they formed a bond. Sure. You can form multiple levels. So here we see... That's the first ability. Yeah, it's simple, but it's a powerful yeah. tool where they can give each other one of their actions. Yeah, we, we talked about this a little bit at... Ooh. Oh, what? Yes. Oh! I mean, that's the Of course easiest. you want to make a easy custom easy. poster, <laughs> right? So this is the photo booth, which is easily one of my, <laughs> my favorite features, which has no bearing on gameplay whatsoever. So um, the idea is that... Um, big events, whether it's when you complete a mission, it actually does it all on the battlefield, yeah. not if your squad like this, but you can also do it in the Avenger anytime you want. And this is, you know, it said, hey, you know, you formed a bond, do you want to make a poster to commemorate that? It also does it when, like, high-ranking soldiers die, you know, like, when high-ranking soldiers are promoted, it says, like, hey, we should go to the photo booth and commemorate that. Nice, so. and then this stuff, um, like, in game is sort of being used as propaganda, right? So like you, you will see will whatever poster things. we make here, you're gonna see okay. show up in the level. So and if you hit randomize a couple of times, oh, you'll okay. see like right. the game can basically just generate like you know <laughs> twin towers of pain. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically eighties movie slogans. <laughs> this and is so, amazing. Yeah. Um, oh god. They're all out of bubble gum. That one's was this was this your your pet project? Oh, by any chance? Yes, yes. Your Obviously, <laughs> a big team worked on it. But in terms of all the phrases, I wrote all the phrases, and yeah, this was. <laughs> <laughs> this was my definitely one of the um, <laughs> definitely one of my favorite ones. And a lot of times, and I think people on the team will tell you this too. A lot of times when I'm really excited about something. Yeah. It's like a 50-50 chance that it's going to be terrible <laughs> or just totally crap. So um, this one I was really excited and I didn't know which way this one was going to go. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that the guys did an amazing job. Oh, God. Um, I, I, so yeah, I, I, I honestly, I just, I can never, I just am just, I, I play with this more than probably anything, <laughs> even when I play now. And I just randomize, randomize until I get something where I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, just amazing. I so. realize that we've got some amount of uh, time limit in terms of how long I can uh, keep you to sh show me this demo, so I'm not going to go too crazy, but... The nice mates. Yeah. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I, I've got to change the font. Yeah, I'm you sorry. change it to whatever you want. <laughs> Look, That's bad. Um, if you want to play with this the whole time, I would be thrilled, so... <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, it's fine, yeah. that's fine. I'm good, I'm okay. good, everything's right. fine. Might just zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. How do you you just mouse wheel in, and, and yeah, you can move them all around and... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, you can change the poses. Are the poses good for you? I mean, I could. Uh, we I could would give her. Them. A, let's do her. Them. She's a ranger, so let's give her a better like pose here. So go to um, edit soldiers. Yep. And down to her. You can choose her pose. So right now she's doing one of the ranger poses. But you can like oh. we have a lot of poses. Obviously, as you can see, how long this list oh goes God. down, we just like went crazy with the poses. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are these are just wonderful. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. That's that's great. <laughs> I'm sorry. That pose. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, the animation lead. <laughs> <laughs> that's this. That's oh, so I like hate this pose, and the animation lead loves it because it's kind of jokey, and I'm like, oh my god. So whenever soldiers, I actually and honestly, I put in a rule 
where I said not whenever we're randomizing posters, <laughs> not more than <laughs> one guy this? can ever do this pose because I hate it so much. I love that. I've and so you double it up. <laughs> so you double it up right away. Look, they're not even facing forward. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's oh. actually looking at the wrong camera. Oh, oh my goodness. That's yeah. so good. So what do I need to do? Uh, That's it. So you're done, actually. So you can favorite it. Here, here, favorite it, and there we so go. So I mean it's more likely to show up? It's more likely to show okay, up now. Okay, that's cool. And so if you, if you back out, here. <laughs> and then if you back out, if you go into the, in the Geoscape, oh, yep. and, then, and then come back in, it might have appeared. Because we have them all up over the Avenger as well. Oh, okay, cool. So right. we're going to... Check out the bar, see if it's got that one. What we can to yeah. Yeah. yeah! It is! The <laughs> oh nice God. mates. The nice mates. <laughs> Somebody oh. very quickly went to work to start papering that poster up. <laughs> it's clearly so, one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clearly. <laughs> um, and yeah, somebody, and w what's sad about this, somebody is out there in the abandoned cities running away from the lost and papering <laughs> up these posters <laughs> as we speak because we're about to see them when we go into mission. So, cool. all right, so yeah. Anything else we, we should do whilst we're um, in the end? No, we'll look at some stuff after. But okay. then here's like one of the new facilities, the ah, training yes. center. So, this is the, oh, yeah, cool. It's like a little holographic uh, yeah. training center there. So, here, and this is, you have to build a training center to use this ability points on um, core game soldiers. Yep. So that is a like faction heroes use the the ability point yeah, system yep. right away. Okay. So, but if you go in here, if you click on train abilities, what you can see is that if we were to look at you know, one of the nice mates, uh, <laughs> Jamie here, then so the this is how faction hero abilities work. They're very very different okay. than core game soldiers. But if if we wanted to, she now has instead of just gaining one ability, you can go through you can, both trees. You can go through both trees. They're expensive. Um, however, many AP she has innately is based on her combat intelligence, which is also a random see, thing, and so it. most have yeah. standard intelligence. But um, so again, this is how the faction heroes gain their abilities, and so they I have even I more than this. I see, so I have a total of ten that I could use because she has some individually, and this and is the shared pool. Yeah, and you would be pulling from the shared pool, and you earn in the shared pool by doing good tactical doing cool stuff. Basically, yep, right? that's right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, I mean, the fact that you could go with Phantom and Blade Master is kind of awesome straight from that. Is there something it's more exciting for? A a, a mix that we could do. I guess we've got. I mean, I think specialists are probably the most. The fact that you can have a hacker and a medic at the same time. Yes, we okay. we found that to be useful, but it's more it's more advanced. By the time it, it takes a while to build a training center, so by the time you build it, you know, a lot of times this is where you run into the issue of how, how we kind of balance the faction heroes because they're so powerful. Yeah. You kind of want to spend your AP on them, but you kind of want to spend them on any core game soldiers you really love. Um, so and they're they're expensive. So yeah, in fact, actually. Most of these soldiers don't have their own AP, like a, a big pool of their own AP. So right, that's right. It takes them a while. They have to be leveled up quite a bit before they have enough. I think I'm going to go with Phantom. Just no, oh, that's boring though. That's um, that's not something new. No, nah, because we got the Reaper. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I wouldn't worry. Like the um. Okay. All right. Well, uh, uh, this is this is awful. It's like a demo. I'm not ever going to come back to the save file. But I never, I just never. Can't. You never will. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to prove that it works. It this works. You now has Salvo. Okay. Glad cool. it worked. So um, the, these are abilities pulled from other classes? These, those are all pulled from other classes. So we used to give you one through the AWC, but now, of course, yeah, we just give you a bunch that you can. But again, you have to spend you know, the pool points to do it. Okay. And a lot of times, you're going to want to be spending those on your faction heroes. So, but again, you earn those, those uh, over, the, over the course of the game, you'll earn a bunch of shared pool points, and then you can start like really customizing your, your favorite soldiers. God, yeah, this generally does feel like there's, there's already so much new stuff here that I'm a little... Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. We, we, don't, yeah, we don't have the other... F I wish we had the other, um, the new facility, the, the resistance ring, because that's, uh, that's, that's probably the biggest the thing. That's the covert actions. Um, but yeah, and then if you look at the soldier, I guess we don't have any of the new. We're going to meet our new um, faction heroes on this mission. So. Oh, okay, right, cool. Yeah, well, let, maybe we should... Yeah, should we jump yeah, in? We should jump in. We should okay. Jump in. You are too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Hulk. You take their side after all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. Actually think they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. 
Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities, provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice, quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. The Reapers are the most drastic... Well, no, the Templars are the most drastically different soldiers, but the Reapers are also... They function very differently yeah, yeah. from Corgium soldiers. And the Skirmishers are a little more in line with yeah, regular guess, soldiers, yeah. but they just... They get extremely powerful... And they're cool because yeah, you know, it's more like from a yeah like a law perspective. I just think yeah, it's a cool they're pretty idea. cool. And yeah, you tell me about a resistance order. They they have access to where uh, there's a chance that when you go on a mission, an advent soldier will defect from you. Double so, agent. Yeah. yeah, and so oh whoa, right? No, why is why have I only got two soldiers? Well, <laughs> you actually have two groups of two soldiers. So this is a three-part mission. So oh, first, this is this is going to be the group. So this is our the nice mates are going to escort <laughs> are going to escort the Reaper, and then the other two-man fire team is going to escort the Skirmisher, and they are going to basically have two separate oh, missions okay, and then cool. meet in the middle for a combined. Well, wow, that sounds great. I think this setup is probably fine. I might have changed this if I hadn't given her salvo just, but that looks yeah. I think it's fine. So next squad is uh, a specialist and specialist and uh, yeah, sharp so, shooter. Yep. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's better. And it doesn't really matter that much. He says that will definitely come back to bite me. The, the yeah. fact that I've said that. No, is actually, really an issue. you're better off because remember, there's a bunch of lost here, so grenades are definitely oh, a lost. devil's yeah. bargain. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to yeah. draw more of them, but it's good at killing them. Yeah, so. sure. By sounds of it, you need um, reliable ways to land a kill on, yeah. on a loss, so I'm going to go with a grenade, actually. That sounds good. All right, that's fine then, I think. Let's, let's have a go. Oh, there are multiple squads. Yeah, and then so, and then th this kind of leads into the the sit rep system that we have, mm -hmm. and so the idea is that when you go on missions, there's actually going to be a pop up. If you go on a mission that has a sit rep, there will be a pop up warning you what the sit rep is. Yep. And so, one of the sit reps is like reduced squad size, or yeah, I, or I like think I told you all about yeah, the, the sit rep stuff. Might show up the lost, the lost yeah. or a sit rep as well. Or loads of the lost might show up. <laughs> the horde means yeah, tons of lost will show up. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that sounds that sounds great, and make sure that. The missions that were that are coming from the core XCOM 2 game have a way of feeling. That's right. Different. Totally like rejuvenating them. That and that's kind of the. It's kind of the key, and you see a little bit of it here. Although this mission is more controlled, but when you actually play the expansion pack and regular missions, what you'll see is that all these systems combine in ways that are kind of difficult to predict yeah. from a design standpoint. Yeah, you said so that actually sometimes they might be really difficult and they might, might be really easy, and that's yeah. okay? Yeah, because, yeah, you get, you get sit reps, you get the you know, all things like Dark Man's resistance orders, you get the chosen, you just get these crazy mix of things that just create these really dynamic peaks and valleys, and so it definitely helps in terms of replay and you know, <laughs> it just is unpredictable. Detecting increasing biological signatures in the area ahead. Then I'd say we're in the right place. Stay sharp out there today, people. Just because this city was abandoned doesn't mean it's lifeless. If you are hungry, there's more where that came from.
Impressive reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. We're all friends here. You are safe here. More so than you imagine. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. All right. So we're going to run escort for Elena okay. here. Mm -hmm. Are we actually controlling her? Yeah, yeah, we're actually going to control her. So we get control of her. All we have to do is go to the evac point here. Okay. Simple. Right. Right? In standard XCOM fashion. She's talking about the skirmisher we're going to meet. And she has a history with him. Right, cool. You would dare do this. Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides there we go. of this fight. Right. So, and this is explaining the sort of super concealment. That's what we call shadow. And yep. so, the idea being that you can attack and all you have is a chance to be revealed. Yep, which um, is insane. But she also moves a little faster. Moves a lot faster and enemies, yeah, they have almost no detection rate. So, Reapers are, they're, it's very hard for them to break concealment until they start making attacks. And so, and they can sort of run on, they're like super scouts. But the trade-off being that they're also great killers yeah. because of their positioning and so you just kind of have to train off do I really want to take a chance of breaking concealment because the fact that they can scout out everything basically makes them really useful. Cool yeah so if I take a shot there's a chance I'll drop out. I have Claymore which doesn't reveal that's the right. so only one of them and then I can get back into shadow once. That's so right that's right and then of course there are lots of abilities so later in the tree you've got abilities called really distraction sorted. that mean you know she can use her if she kills with a Claymore then she goes back into it. Right, cool. Um, yeah. So this is one of the fog pods from Enemy Unknown. So the oh. idea is that we're coming back to the original city. You can see what's happening. Yeah. This, is, this is from the fucking intro cinematic where all the right. stupid humans are That's like, right. what is this right. alien thing? I might run yeah. over <laughs> towards it. Um, I really like being able to lead with a reaper because it means like, in terms of actually being the scout. You don't have to worry. Yeah. If, when the Reaper is in front, you don't have to worry. And that's typically how it works. It's the nice mates. Yeah, it's the nice mates. <laughs> so they're, they're just better when they're next to each other and they have this new ability now. Right, so right now, and that's the reason why we, we show the green tile when you have like one of the Bond mates active. And so we don't have any adjacent abilities yet, but you'll get oh, okay, right. yeah, as yeah. the Bond level increases. There are a bunch of abilities that rely on them being adjacent to sort of improve the way that they operate. Okay. Um, I don't really location. know what to expect from this mission, so... Can, oh, I don't, am I going to be boring and moving Overwatch? How likely... You made this. How likely am I to run into things? Hmm. Well, um, it is XCOM, so yeah. Oh, no. Okay, right. Yeah, that's, that's all I need to hear. Okay, so we can clear. But as see. long as you're as long as your Reaper's out front, you're fine, basically. Yeah. But the other soldiers don't have concealment on this yeah. mission, so... So, yeah, that's why she's going to be in the way. And I don't want to smash any waves. I always manage to fuck up concealment anyway. So uh, it'll be interesting to see oh. if I can fuck up the... Oh... So those are just dusty okay. people. All right, so here <laughs> you we You made go. a little noise when I ran over there. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. uh. All right, so what we've got are a couple lost. And so we're not actually going to see any swarms until later in the mission. Okay. These are just sort of like, you know, freestanding lost. Um, and so there, there's obviously two kinds. There's the lost that are actually on the map, but these are really small numbers for lost. And then you'll see later in the mission, in a later part of the mission, then you'll get the actual swarms that are like dynamically spawning big groups yeah, of these things yeah, that come sure. to swarm you. Sure that be so these won't be too much of a problem. If I move here, I will have line of sight of each other. Will that trigger them and then move towards me? Tell you what, so hold down the alt key and it will now preview oh. your targets as from wherever your cursor is. It will preview who you can see, whether they're flanked, all that stuff. Right, cool. So that's a new sort of like awesome. super nerd feature for um, um, for the expansion pack. Okay, so. Which is very useful, because so now you can see, you know, you know, so if you don't see them there, if you hold down all, yeah, you'll see them there. Yeah. So that'll definitely wake them up. So basically what just happened, Jake, is that we had a slight issue with recording. We had to splice two bits together. I was thinking about just trying to get away with that, but there's... It's yeah, make people think they're living in the Matrix or I'm probably something. going to repeat some of the same jokes, so... <laughs> I, I only I have, like, three jokes, all right? <laughs> I only worked out three jokes for this entire, entire interview. Okay, so the Lost have just appeared over here, and we now get to 
basically show off the new headshot mechanic, yes. yep. which means if we land a kill with a shot, not with a another shot. kind of attack, just a shot, it will uh, you get the action back. That's right. It's free. So. And that's the way that, basically the only way you can deal with, look, you're going to shoot through somebody's like... Oh my god. At, look, they're going to puff into ash, Something probably. Something I actually want to do instead is, it's probably not like the right time to do this, but the ability that we unlocked for the nice mates, which is yes. teamwork. I can, that will give me an extra action to get closer with a shotgun, which means I can probably clean yeah, up. Yeah, the power of friendship. Yeah, I right? love this. I, the power right. of friendship leads to <laughs> more kills. Right, so there. Oh, the I love it. Just so you know, they're like, a feel point. like they're locking <laughs> eyes, you know, and he's like. And uh, yeah, so I reckon I want to get as close, but because there really isn't going to be an issue against these guys because. Oh, and you just puff oh, those God, no. and you run oh. them. Oh, God, oh, no. Oh, no. You see what happens when you're. I wasn't you this monster. overconfident last time I played. <laughs> right, okay. So, how many are we doing with here? There's. Is that the same group? That's all these two separate groups that I've triggered now. That's two separate so groups. There's some that you've more triggered. in here. Yeah, I think there's some in there that you can't see. Okay, and this is probably means that Jamie's in a slightly interesting position, but right. we can get that. That's a good thing. That's, a, that's easy. Ah, there we are. Right. Oh, interesting. So, I have. Did I. Oh, I don't think I got Salvo this time. I changed it. Actually, you know what? I thought that was a waste of the ability points anyway, because we just reload the save. You know what? That's, that's fine. Um, I've got an 80% shot there, that's already not feeling super great. The Reaper, I'm going to probably have to break concealment. Oh, because I've used an action, <laughs> with, that's the trade-off. That's with right, Bunt by with, trading, uh, is that work. now he can't... Oh. Oh. Sure, what's that going to hurt? Well... And that way you'll reveal... It will reveal the other one. That's even right. If I don't that's do right, any damage to them, which I don't think bad. I will. It's not bad. There's anything, I can't do anything else, and there's no way no. I can land a shot. Look how sad this is, the people down in the, um... Oh, God. Yeah, they're frozen forever, and you just run through them like a monster. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. I only I know, see, I only see the numbers now. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's do that just to reveal a little bit of, uh... Yes, that, I can see two of them now. I think I'll still have a pretty good uh, shot chance against those guys. Oh, there's two back there. Yeah, okay. so that feels oh, that's good. like a smart thing. Oh, yeah, now you can do four. I, right. can do, I can do one, then two, and then throw a grenade for the third. Yep. That'll be, that'll be lovely. Right. Unless I miss a 93% shot. Right. And the thing, the thing that people should know, of course, is that only in this part of the game is throwing a grenade even close to a good idea yes. against the Lost. Yeah. Because grenades summon swarms of Lost. And so you really don't want to use a lot of explosives. And we'll see that later, unless you go through all your grenades now. <laughs> we'll see that later, how like either exploding cars or Grenades, claymores, any of those items will actually end up summoning more lost. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what I didn't even do last time uh, we had a go at this? I didn't even fire a shot from Shadow with... Oh, you should. ...with this. So that is a 76% chance to hit. Should I move forward? Yeah, you can first? move forward, make it a little easier on yourself. And then... You, you can fight their sniper rifles. Don't take both actions then. No, they take, they'll, they'll definitely end your turn. But you can move forward and... Because yeah. they're not snipers, they're, they're more oh, just marksmen. Oh, okay, so. I see, right, okay, yeah. I know, it looks like a dragon off. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> so 91% chance, but a 50% chance to get revealed. Um, the, I yeah. <laughs> Jake just played out that that's the surname of the character. Right. I don't think I gave enough appreciation to yeah. that joke. <laughs> yeah. The, um, so yeah, so you see here with the meter up, you can see like, okay, that's that's the chance to reveal. And that goes up, so e if you're successful and you aren't revealed, that, then the chance to go reveal is gonna go even higher for your next shot and your, your next shot. Sure. Is, but um, yeah, right now you only have a 50% we'll chance. We'll give it a go, let's see what happens. Beautiful. As it were. No oh, oh so this, is, this is new. This is sort of uh, a little bit like the hacking that's where right. you actually see yep. the dice roll happening. That's right, so there, so now you know that okay, you know, she gets to stay in consume, and that's just a chance you take every time you attack with a Reaper. Yep, well, okay, that's cool. And then, so, uh, this, the, the fact that you said, that, like, once you get a successful shot and don't get uh, Shadow Broken, like, next time it's going to be more difficult, does that reset after a little while, or is that just for the rest of the mission? Nope, no, nope, for the rest of the mission. That's, prob that's probably fair. And, and the fact is, you have lots of ways to go back into Shadow, so, yeah. you know, again, it's... Yeah, I've got at least one at this stage. Yeah, like there's there's one way, and then of course we have a lot of abilities that put you back in the shadow or grant you an extra shadow. Awesome, I think. Oh just man, you're some. just running through those bodies. <laughs> you see the people just exploding into ash. <laughs> right. That was somebody's brother. Oh, uh, 
and something I, I'm not sure if we if we properly showed this off before is that if I hold down Alt now, right. you see this target preview. I That's just right. pointed at the screen like the audience could see me doing that. Incredibly useful, <laughs> like for, for players of XCOM, and incredibly useful. I mean, it, it sounds small, but especially in, so we have new tunnel environments, we have these city environments. Yep. All of them have really limited line of sight. Um, and so... Yeah, already here, this is telling me if I move that, I won't trigger them. If I move that, I'll be able to see it, them, so it will. will. So right. that's a safe thing. Right. And it'll also show you if you're flanking people, and you know. And yeah, yeah, right. so yeah, we'll try and show that off later on. I'm just gonna give it a turn here, because... Oh no, sorry, <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh my god, are you choosing <laughs> to run through people? <laughs> Alright. And yeah, so the Reaper obviously functions as a super scout. Yeah, you know, she can basically. You see, you know, she's very difficult to detect. I kind of want to try out the. Now they have larger detection radii than they normally oh, would because, because I a you're shot. already taking a shot, and so that'll grow basically. So the Claymore. Right, Claymore. Once again, I could probably save this for a better moment, but I sort of want to see how it works. So well, I'll, I'll the thing with the Claymore is you have to shoot it so to trigger it. Does it have to be the no. Reaper that does it? No, but just remember that if somebody else runs up, they aren't revealed yet, so... Ah, uh, and then they're going to move and the Claymore won't be in right. a good spot. Right, I see. And so for her, it's, it's great against either enemies that have already been revealed, or if she does it with both of her actions, and again, the claymore is something that shooting a claymore will not reveal her. So right. it's another way for her to do a lot of damage to stay concealed. All right, so now they Seems good. I like the modesty of, of that guy kept his he kept his uh, t-shirt on. Yeah, some of them. Some but, of them have pants. Some of those them are, are jorts, I think. Yeah, they are. And some of them, maybe he, he already suffered a face. <laughs> the um. <laughs> so yeah, the um, some of them have shirt and no pants, and I don't know what happened to them to get them to that state, you know. But they went out at a real party, I guess. When they got mutated, they were having a great time. Oh, these aren't. Oh, that's not. They got some okay percentages there, but I haven't got any movement to get any closer. I sort of want to do a frag grenade. Is where I'm at. Yeah, that looks good. Use Can them now, because they're deadly later. Yes, oh yeah, as you said, yeah, so like, I don't want to be triggering more swarms yeah. in the next bit. Cool, good. Doesn't count as a headshot because it's, right. That's it's right. a grenade. Yeah, the yeah, only way to chain it. is through like basically your standard yeah. shot. Yeah, I, I was thinking like whether or not that would be just the way to game that, right. that part of the system and just take like four grenades with you on a mission, but apparently not. Uh, and still got a 90% there. Go for it. I haven't missed a shot yet. Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have, have said that. Have you not missed a shot? No. Shouldn't have said that. I regret it immediately. It 76 percent. It will come back for you. <laughs> oh, look already. Yeah, the chance to reveal here is 80 percent. Right. So 80. So I'm gonna, that's. I'm gonna do it just because I want to see it happen. All right. That's my excuse for every right. poor decision I make. Yeah. So yeah, okay, cool. there you go. So now she's revealed. And then you have to, then there's like a cooldown, so she can't go immediately back into shadow, but you have another charge of it. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so next turn I'll be able to do that. And let's just be sensible for turn, because there are more bad guys. Here come the bad guys. Oh, oh no! This is why you I don't say things. A shot. <laughs> okay. There's a few more actually. Yeah, it does get a little bit stressful, doesn't it? This isn't even no, close to the numbers we're going to no, be dealing with as well. Close to the number, so. Okay. And it, it's actually, it's a neat feeling about them is they actually, they feel a lot more, um, like you get in a situation where you're like, oh my god, I'm totally oh. outnumbered. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, no. But then you basically have to say, all right, you just have to be smart about who you're picking to shoot, basically. Target selection and ammo management, and you should be fine. We've played through, like, to the end of this bit of the mission, basically, before we realized yep. there's an issue. I was so cautious, so safe. Didn't I never made a move like that. Don't need to be, time. man. Look, <laughs> you're going to be fine. OK, all right. I'm going to see how many shots I can get Right. Uh, with this initial group and maybe throw a grenade Let's over there. Oh, yes. That's complete overkill. 86% already. A oh, little bit. Although well, you only have either. the one action left. So with her, yeah. I can't, I'd either have to reload right, or... Right, you have to reload or... Oh, I can't quite... Can't grenade him. Can't quite do it. What's their... 
movement like? Could they get close and take an attack now? Ooh, let's see. They're actually really slow. It actually takes them a while. So there's actually there's actually three types of lost. So there's the dashers, which we haven't met yet, and they run really far. There's the standard lost, which you're fighting now, and they're really slow. So they're really only dangerous in very large numbers. And right. then there are the brutes, which have a lot of hit points. Um, and so here, these standard lost, they probably won't be able to attack. All right, I still have to okay. closer. Nice cool. I've got one over there. Oh no! I didn't get this. Remember when we were talking about, yeah, fighting the lost is about ammo management. Yeah. It's not about just dealing damage. Yep. Uh, well, yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> I agree. Uh, maybe you want to move back. Oh, I said it. Nah, I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll be able to attack from that far. Watch. I say that. I say that. But oh no! Oh, that one's a lot closer, actually. Okay. Except nice mate, stick nice together. Mate. No, no. Uh, I haven't missed no. a shot. I haven't missed a shot. <laughs> missed a few now. That's fine. I, I think I deserve that. We Although actually, that's perfect. Because now, yeah, right. Jamie is gonna just have a really nice time with all of this. this so, yeah, I can see all of them. The shotgun is just amazing for these enemies. That really didn't yeah, look like a hit. That one actually. <laughs> Yeah, shotgun's great. And actually what's great is the um, uh, if you can have a, a, a gunslinger, like the marksmen who have their pistol, oh, yeah. since it, it doesn't use any ammunition, yeah. they basically can go on tears as long as they're doing enough damage. They have a whole bunch of like multi-target right. abilities right. as well. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, that's a good thing. So yeah, there you go. So there's a situation where there's a lot of them, but, but if you chain it right, yeah. it's fine. You, get, you find yourself. No more creatures on approach. For now. Then let's not linger here. I think, you know what, I think I was a more exciting yeah, player that time around. You were! Yeah, so I'm maybe maybe, maybe it's a good job that that happens. <laughs> well, XCOM 2 rewards aggression. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Alright, so that's the first group done. We now have the second group who are dealing with the skirmisher. Right. Which I think, yeah, I, I like I like this setup. Having just two soldiers with each of them means that they, you really have to concentrate on what what the new hero unit's offering. Yeah, them. yeah, that's right. I'm guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crunk side. Advent. Puppet. Vox Tala. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drunk. Ten. The lost. Our meeting point is still secure. All right, so skirmisher. Right, skirmisher. All about taking Multiple lots of actions. actions. Yeah. So yeah. They, they start with the grapple, mm -hmm. um, which allows them to move without spending an action. And then they can use both their actions for attacking or moving. So they can either move really far, or they can grapple and shoot twice. Their justice ability. Yeah, so I start off with the one we just saw in that cutscene. That's right. That only costs a single action, doesn't end their turn. So they, they, they are all about doing, they do a lot of damage because they can just take so many actions. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So yeah, you, the, the grapple is usually something you don't get until a little later in the, right. the game as well, so it's nice to have, have that as an option straight away. Um, try not, trying not to be a boring player, but like the, I, this isn't my save file. It doesn't matter. It That's does right. matter so much. These people, <laughs> these people are expendable. I hate to say that, but... So, we're not fighting the loss this time. We're, God, I haven't missed a shot. I haven't mm, missed a shot. See what it, happens. Even at the height advantage as well. So right, so these, these are the guys. purifiers, right? Mm -hmm. So these are the advent's answer to the lost. These guys are anti-lost units. Um, obviously flamethrowers. Yeah. Uh, can we get a... Uh, I think... Hey, 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 look, look. Is that the nice mates? 
Oh, yes, there yeah, it is. There we are. <laughs> there are the oh, my God. Someone's already put up the propaganda. This is such a difficult place to put up propaganda it as well. It is. It is. Like, it's a uh, terrible, terrible place to spend time putting up <laughs> propaganda. But... Who are they trying to recruit? Somebody did. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh, man, I really like that. It's such a, there's no gameplay advantage at all. Not right? at all. There's I, no gameplay advantage at all. To I that honestly think system. I'd like it less if there was a gameplay advantage. Yes, exactly. Right? It would ruin it. Basically, yeah. you can be as serious or ridiculous as you want with the photo booth because it's not going to have an impact on the gameplay. Thanks. But yeah, it does put out like high res JPEGs that then you can, you know. Oh, I love that it happens when you lose a high level soldier as well. Yeah. Yeah. That, yep. You, yeah, you, you have the thing in the memorial to go back right. and like sort of remember that. It's cool to have like an actual final picture. Um, I'm going to go for Justice here. I think probably the, the one that's a little further away. Just because it looked cool. Right. Don't miss it, don't miss it. And yes. The, and then... The, the, okay, so the important thing to know, <laughs> the important thing to know here, which I've mentioned before, is that these, the purifiers, because they have this huge gas tank on their back, basically. Yeah, I see what's happening here. Um, yeah, if, if they die, there is a chance, there's a chance that they will explode. See, I got all excited that that's like, you get, that's one action, and you can, I can follow action. up with a shot, like that's such that's an easy right. kill now. And so, the, yeah, exactly, so you can, the skirmisher could like, grapple somewhere, and then just as someone next to them slash them, and then put another shot up under the chin, so they can do, again, do tons of damage. But if you do that to um, a purifier. Yeah, not great. Not Instead, great. you could, you know, could, Jump over there, like grab someone towards them, and then sensibly run away to hide behind some cover. That's, That's also right. a valid option. That's right. And so now you combo with <laughs> your squad mates. Uh, I'm not going to be able to see the third one, um, so I do need to start thinking about cover a little bit more. I think I might go here, okay. do a lightning okay. hands to get this fella, who might explode as we've just mentioned. No. Nope, oh no. All good. All good. Uh, and then I can. Get an overwatch, okay, and we'll overwatch over here as well, Understood. and then I don't feel too bad about leaving the other one alive. He says. He says. He says. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. All right, so that's good. He missed. Okay. He couldn't right. get through the truck, so. Oh, that's an interesting thing he's just done there, because has he just... Oh, no, I thought... Ah, this truck isn't active, right? I was wondering if he just... That truck can explode, actually. Well, I think, once again, we're going to do a sensible move with the skirmisher then, and not... Oh, and not... Set so ourselves on fire either. Uh, oh yeah, so target preview you can see moving right, between these two. Right, that shows you flank as well. So flank. that's very cool. Yeah. So uh, just don't mention this. This don't team miss this, and you'll be fine. That's cool. Wow. Well, yeah, like yeah this, I should be able so. to get someone else. Eyes on. Well, not great shot chances actually, considering how oh how extremely brave I've been. I might have to throw a grenade here because I've messed up. Yeah, he's in high cover. Okay, let's see if I can. I'll take one shot with the person that doesn't have a grenade, and then we'll basically rectify the mistake. <laughs> oh my God, they're both out of cover. Yeah. Well, you know the nice thing actually is that he is. Although cover saves you from the. Oh, there, there you I, go. I did and not deserve that. Right. <laughs> and he blew up. And so and now the oh, trucks about yeah, that's done it. So. We okay. Don't need to take any unnecessary chances. And so it's nice because again, we uh, the lost swarms haven't started yet. But if they did, this would be an issue. That would be an issue. That's cool. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to maybe reload this as well. Let's just take. Let's take a sensible turn. I'm getting back into being a boring player again. Now this is all new to me. Occasionally <laughs> sensible is fine. <laughs> Although you're standing right by an exploding truck. Oh. Uh. You should be. Oh, that's just exploded, I think, isn't it? Uh, uh, I don't think it's exploded yet. I Go think ahead. it's going to explode next turn. Wait, rotate it around. Oh, well, maybe it did explode. Yeah, I th I, well, we'll see. Oh, I'm famous last words. <laughs> Haven't missed a shot. Here we go. <laughs> Haven't missed a shot. Hasn't exploded yet. All right. Everything's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Yep, it's All, right. All right. So we're going over there. Right. Keep pushing forward. I do already miss having the Reaper. I got so used to having, like, cool... Uh, Super well, and that's what's fun, is, and you will have, because there's a whole new mechanic of soldiers getting tired and stuff, so you're really rotating a lot of soldiers in War of the Chosen, but you'll have plenty of missions where you're actually running with, like, a Skirmisher and a Reaper and a Templar, and it's just nuts, it's just nuts. When you, whenever you get to get them all together, the way that they all operate is really fun to see. Yeah, I, uh, I guess I also just, I wanted to sort of see the Lost interact with the aliens as well because 
they clearly don't get on if the advent have had to design yeah, troops to that's right. destroy yeah. them. It's really fun. It, it creates some. Um, you basically have this when you're fighting. Oh, here. Oh, the, okay. Uh, I see. They, well, that was well timed. Yeah. That was very well timed. I didn't know that was about to happen. Yeah. Nice segue. If only we had like a, a cutscene that could demonstrate what That's we're right. talking about. <laughs> Cool guys, don't look at explosions. That's right, you never look at them. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so their mocks are skirmishing there. He just wiped out that entire uh, army of, of purifiers. Of course, the problem is that what we're seeing now is that we're hearing the howls and seeing the, uh, they're gonna be new swarms of lost, basically. So this is when the actual lost mechanic, the way it's gonna work for the rest of the game, this is how it starts. So you've got these, these swarms that will spawn, Holy shit. yeah, and and they get even bigger, and so you get these swarms that'll spawn in response to any sort of explosives. Um, okay, well, this I lo oh I love uh, I love these moments where you have to hold somewhere. Okay, so we have a grappling hook, which is just great, which we can get us out of this horrible situation. Where is a group down there? Is there? Somewhere is that going to get Yeah, I thought there was somebody over there. It's a free action anyway, so oh no. Is it free action? Yeah, it's yeah, free. Yeah. It's free. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there. Cool. Oh, and cool, I've got eyes on a few here. So, in fact, the fact that I can take shots from both actions means that Mox, if he had a bigger ammo clip, would be my favorite dude ever. Yeah, I mean, he's great. Especially when you give him either a re uh, an auto reloader or an expanded. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I, didn't, I wasn't even looking at the health. Yeah. So that's, that's part of it too is, and it definitely happens in later missions, then their health starts to climb. And then you have to be real careful about, okay, I've been don't so shoot the heavy health fuck. ones first because there's a chance. I've been so used to them just dropping with every points. shot. Yeah. I hadn't even, I didn't even think about that. That's okay. Well. Yeah, although there is, yeah, there, there is a, um, a resistance order from the Reapers. They have one where, and it's kind of nice to use, if you're fighting loss, they have one where if all you have to do is hit the loss and it'll instantly kill them. So then you don't have to worry about health. But yeah, now you have to start worrying about, okay, you know, now I'm... Hmm. Did I... Oh, crap, wait, you said mm. don't throw grenades either, because right. that's... So, oh, what I you're going to see here is that, them. so what's happened is, all right, so... That explosion it's, was it's, war, it's warning you that in, that you're going to get oh, the next God. turn now oh, because God. you threw a grenade. Oh. So just don't... Don't the do thing that. is, if you threw another grenade, they yeah. would instantly swarm. They would instantly spawn. So, like, there's basically a behind-the-scenes timer of when these guys are going to appear, and you're basically knocking turns off the timer every time an explosion goes off. So oh, okay, I'm now very stressed out. <laughs> right. I can tell by the camera rotation. The, um, <laughs> you know, you know it's going. Camera right rotation that. is completely tied to your anxiety level. <laughs> I can tell. The. Um, All right. Let's take take those two. Oh, mm -hmm. Maybe it's not seventy three percent. In this game, should be fine. Doesn't mean anything. Jim. No, it doesn't. But it means. Okay, can you just? There you can go. you be level with me right now? Is that actually seventy-three percent? Because not nobody believes that it is. You know, like it. It just. It seems so. Okay. But, I mean, in both examples, there it works. So. So depending on the difficulty <laughs> level, the numbers may not be entirely accurate, oh. but it's always well, always okay, in the that. player's favor. It's always in the player's right. favor. So it's actually always better than that. Okay, Although yeah, unless you're playing on you play commander or legend, like the numbers are the numbers for mm -hmm. sure. They are absolutely the numbers. And I have I can't tell you how many times I've seen people run like actual. They have like cell charts where they've actually oh, used really? our RNG and and it's yes, it is an actual balanced true R RNG. I'll but people just time. don't believe it. And honestly, that's the thing is I have the exact same experience <laughs> people do like. When I do it, like, people will tell you, like, I'm in my office and I will scream, like, <laughs> bullshit, you know? Even though I know that we're the ones behind it. Like. Well, okay, that's that's cool. I, that's reassuring to know that you also... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. The thing is, like, a lot of us blame you individually for it. So who do you blame? <laughs> I don't know. Who wrote the RNG that we... It's, it is interesting. It's totally psychological. And it's the same thing Sid always talk to me about it because it was the same thing with Civ battles basically. Like people will interpret, you know, people always see certain numbers, you like seventy percent just mm -hmm. feels like ninety yeah. percent to people. Which makes sense. It feels the same way to me. 
you don't see that as 30% miss, you know. Maybe if we like showed you your chance to miss a shot, maybe that would change the psychology. But right, yeah, I wonder what- But that doesn't feel good, Yeah. You know? um, I actually am gonna take a turn just to deal with ammo there. And I think I might, might be able to get a pistol shot. I can't quite remember where that loss was. Nope, but that's fine. And then a couple of overwatches just to be safe. Right on top of you. Nice. Boom. Oh, that just looked great. I got that one. And last one was very close. Oh, God, I forgot they're coming from that way as well. Mm. Oh, I haven't is... missed a shot. I haven't yeah. missed a <laughs> I can't believe ever since I said that, how poorly that's gone for me. Um, I don't know exactly how many are over there. And I don't know how. I don't actually know where. Most of them are. It stage. must be. Yeah, I, I bet if you move there, yeah, you'll see something. whatever's left over here. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, maybe that was all of it. Maybe that was it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they're far enough away that actually I don't. I'm not going to move towards them. I don't. I still feel like I should get in cover, know, but cover's really That's not. That's the way I feel too. And most of the time, honestly, you should because it's rare that you're fighting oh, lost on their own unless you're in a special sit rep or something. Sure. Okay. Like. So okay. you're always taking cover because at some point the admin are going to show up or the chosen are going to show up. As you command. Okay, well, that should Moving to be fine for this turn. That's the way you do Overwatch, huh? You don't hit the Y key. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I just here's another swarm. Habit, I guess. I did used to use... Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, God. You have missed a lot of shots. Yeah. And this is a pistol, so that's yeah. not going to... Yep. That oh my great. goodness. <laughs> Honestly, from the moment you said, I haven't missed a shot, you've missed an More than insane I amount of shots. <laughs> oh god, there's yeah. a lot going on now. <laughs> can, I, can I not just have, can I have the ranger back, please? Because <laughs> that was really good. I liked nope. having a ranger. Although you're gunslinger, so your, your sniper should actually be, yeah, well, that, actually. that's the thing. You, you have to be real careful with her. If it's a like two hit point loss, like, yeah. it's great. But yeah, so a lightning hands would deal with the first one if I land that. I sort of want to keep the, uh, yeah, the sniper shot for something. So, okay. Uh, okay, I'll come back to you. This is, oh, this is horrible. This right. is horrible, this is horrible. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> okay, well, we've got um, two actions. With he can grapple too. So yeah. he can grapple, he can, you yeah, know, I don't know better. if there's a good place to yeah, grapple, there isn't. Okay. Really this, but oh, if I miss it though, everything goes. Oh, actually, he's the one that no, doesn't. He's go the one that, yeah, he's away. the one who can miss and then yeah. not suffer from it. Basically. Right. Okay. There we go. All right, just get some good chains together and. Yeah, I think we'll go for it. That would be all my ammo. God, it, the, the difference in tension, if you just land a few hits, everything feels like yeah, manageable it feels like again. I still but like manageable. at the start of this turn, it was, it looked That is definitely possible. the different feeling of the loss, is you could be facing 15 of them, 20 of them, and you'll be like, oh, this is, yeah, this your, is it your XCOM brain is like, this is insurmountable. But then you just start chaining together, and you're like, oh yeah, I've killed like six in a row. The Justice is actually 100% shot, so, oh, and it's on a dasher as well, which has a bit more health. That's the not a bad idea. Right, and you'll definitely, it definitely doesn't up there. Oh, so. This is such a great attack. <laughs> right, there you go. So, cool. That's that's not bad. Maybe I'll just take this seventy-two percent because I don't think that oh, that's enough. right. You're doing them. Squad right. Yeah. I, th I think that should. I got it right. Do I take another one or yeah? It's better than watching. Yeah. See. Right. Never miss a shot. Never right. miss exactly. a shot. <laughs> And I could then do with. I might reload an Overwatch. It's yeah, there's only one that I can see. And so, again, that's how it feels. It's like you ba you didn't even have to leave. You didn't have to leave any alive, even though there were I don't know how many there were there. But, oh, there's more back there. Actually. Uh, mm. Never missed a shot. Huh? <laughs> there you go. I hear some a few more. Oh, oh there's God. one behind you. Didn't. Yeah. Which I knew about, which is right. why I had a nice, a nice little Overwatch. <laughs> Oh, the, fighting these guys is completely different to the yeah. other enemy types. And again, and then so then the, it, it's really fun because then you, then you in, in the, uh, the rest of the game, then these guys get layered. The same numbers of enemies get layered on top of the advent. 
And so then the Advent are fighting a group of them, and you're fighting a group of them, and... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll do this. And I just need to move up over there. Thankfully, no turn time is still, but I think... You, uh, you said this before, but like the, the Lost are sort of... Yeah, the Lost kind of function yeah. as their own turn time. More so you really can't sit there. And that's perfect, because if you move there, then you can use your graph. Yeah, hopefully to get there. across there, that's, yeah. Man, that might be a little bit too far. Ah, uh, it's too yeah. far, yeah. Oh, man. Probably could have moved a little bit more this time. Ah, I could... Watch. Stop being boring, Chris. YouTube's watching. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, oh, you can okay. just edit this. Yeah, actually, that's the beauty of it. Um, so they didn't they didn't have a lost the turn then, which confirmed. makes me think I might have dealt with most of the enemies nearby, so I'm going to start being a bit brave. There you go. That's a spirit. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Cool. I'm all over it. Uh, it not quite. We might have to leave Amanda. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Yeah. So, so yeah, and that's how it works. Quickly. Basically, in, in regular missions, they'll just constantly, mm -hmm. be constantly spawn at the end. Yeah, I feel like I had a little bit of luck there towards the end um, with some of those shots because that that final wave could have gone really, really poorly. Yeah. I guess with the loss, you like you probably there are probably a lot of opportunities that you either sort of wipe them out really cleanly and it goes well, or you take massive losses. Yeah, they're the same thing middle. where they basically. Most of the time, even if they're large numbers, you just as long as you have decent luck, you can just sort of like so, chew through them. Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. <laughs> Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. Oh. Alright, so here's... Ah, uh, okay. It's the, hun the hunter? The assassin. The assassin. Yep. No one has ever done that before. No one shall ever do that again. What the hell is that? Vox Prima, Elder Assassin, relentless death that stalks my kind, butcher of free elephants. My people face another like her. They are the undying, Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Right, so yeah, the factions pair off against one of the Chosen, and then that plays out on the strategy layer. It Your plays out tactically as well, you'll see. Oh, crap. I, I thought that was going to be the end of the mission. We're going to fly back and have a nice time. No. We're actually fighting the Chosen. Okay. Oh, you got a fighter. Um, <laughs> However, it does mean that I now get both. You have both of them. Okay. The squad's much bigger now. Is it going to be worth using her as a scout again, using shadow mode, pushing forwards? It's it's always useful. I mean, it, and it, it, it's it's interesting because the assassin is all about concealment as well. So mm -hmm. she is all about it's using concealment to um, sneak up. And so the only way to reveal her is either to use items like battle scanners. Oh or fuck! So yeah, at some point. Or if you can flank her, then it reveals her. Right. And so the reaper is really good against the assassin because. She can run around and try to find try and out flank. where yeah. she is. Yeah. Okay, well I'm going to get everyone sort of positioned over here to begin with. Is, am I just fighting the Chosen um, individually or are there going to be other units as well? In this in this section yeah. you'll be fighting. But so, you'll, you'll always, the Chosen always have minions with yeah. them. In fact, they can summon minions. And in fact, you know, they have all these different strengths, which we'll see. Well, here's the... Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so we see here. Now, these are always procedural. The Chosen all have different strengths. They all oh, have wow. strengths. They have 
procedural weaknesses, procedural strengths, and so they'll gain them as they get stronger. And some of their strengths are even related to like what kind of followers they can summon, so they can summon in priests or they can summon in lancers. Um, but so she, strength-wise, she has blast shield, which means she's immune to explosions. She has shadow step, which means she's immune to overwatch. Okay, well that's not worth knowing. Right, and so those, are, and that's the kind of thing is basically, that just changes the way you, how you have to face these mm -hmm. chosen, and then you have you always have to go for their weaknesses. Uh, and and so you s I remember you saying because like they will always have one locked in, which is their adversary. Right, that's their adversary, and so she is going to be weak to attacks from the Reaper. Um, she's going to take more damage, and then bewildered is a weakness, which means that if you can get three attacks in a single turn on mm -hmm. her, then every attack after that does nice a lot of damage. So you just kind of have to think, okay, how can I take advantage of the weakness, basically? And sorry if you find these uh, comparisons frustrating, but I've been playing a lot of Shadow of Mordor recently, and it, it, in a very good way, this you is sort of giving of me a little bitch. bit of the, the sort of nemesis I find vibe. It very frustrating. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, I think that's obviously where this started for us. Mm -hmm. I think was. We, I, I loved, I love that game, and this is obviously very, it ended up very different, yeah. but the, the genesis for the idea clearly started yeah. with that game. It was like, okay, they have actual characters yeah. that you form a relationship with. I mean, I, that's all I did in Shadow of War. Yeah. Basically run around, make new enemies, and then be like, that son of a bitch, I'm gonna go <laughs> find him again, and you just keep killing them. And so, and the, the fact that they have the strengths and, and things like that, that definitely was the genesis for them. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, I, I yeah I um just I think when we all played that game originally we were like this is one of those things that I hope a lot of games start learning yeah, from. Yeah, I think a lot it's of. Very cool. But I'll say after even doing something that's that's not even as not even similar. It's pretty tough. Yeah, <laughs> it is really it is really really challenging. Like we made actual bespoke characters. These three, you know, they have procedural strengths and. On the move. But um, you know, we we wanted them to be distinct characters. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's really, really, I can't wait for Shadow of War. Oh, look, you found her. Ah, so, oh, cool, that was, that was with move, the, actually. yeah, the flank. Kind of a lucky awesome. move. And so, you've revealed Why her. you say lucky, Jake? Uh, mean, it, was a, it was a very <laughs> smart tactical <laughs> move. Um, okay. The question about the Claymore. Yeah. When I throw it and then I have to shoot it afterwards, can I do that within one turn? You, well, if you have two actions. So it, it requires okay. an action to shoot. Yeah, yeah. So oh. now one of your squad mates could shoot it, though. So if you throw the Claymore next to her. Right. And then when your squad mates shoot Oh, but she's flame. immune to explosions. Oh, Mother she's immune. Yeah, that's right. So she's immune to explosions. Actually, yeah. that won't do anything. <laughs> Actually, you're right. Um, okay. That actually won't do a thing. But... I should have saved all my cool stuff. I should have saved all my... Co Why didn't I save... Teamwork would be so cool right Teamwork now. Teamwork would be great. I just Because then you could go and slash her and... Yeah, you know. it'd be, I'd be having a wonderful time. But um, you've got her like multiple yeah. flanks. Actually, I think you're going to be able to take her. So she doesn't have like the sort of mechanic the alien rulers had. She does not. So have that I, I, no. she's going to stay there. She's going to stay there. And in fact, you're in a really good position. She get, maybe able to um, handle her <laughs> before she does anything. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I should actually. Have, once again, I'm, this isn't my save file. This is more about showing what the game is. That's right. It's no, no, no. no. <laughs> See, I'm gonna, no, I'm, I'm getting too close to actually just... I might just do quite a lot of damage <laughs> for the last five seconds and see what, what happens. Oh my god, yeah. I, and so, and they, they start it, you know... There, there you go. Mm -hmm. I had not expected this conflict <laughs> So if I kill... Oh, well, I see, right. Um, because this is the narrative mission that right. escaped. N normally, when I encounter the chosen, they are you can ki you can kill them, mm -hmm. but they're going to return. And so the idea is that they're they're the undying, and so you can actually permanently kill them. But that is a long sequence of covert actions, finding her stronghold, going through her stronghold, which is a whole is a big epic mission, yeah, yeah. and then you have to fight her multiple times and sort of like kill her. So actually, permanently killing her is a is a, is a big ordeal. So but they, you get like the best weapons in the game. That's right. You get by far the best weapons in the game, basically. Also, don't they show up in the final mission if you haven't dealt with them as well? Yes. So they'll show, and then you actually would have to fight multiples, basically, because yeah. in the final mission, if you don't kill them, they'll show up there. And it, but it's hard to. You can hunt them all down. You can definitely do that, but it, it just takes a little while. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. Worth knowing. So, generally, it's probably worth killing them unless you want to. <laughs> yeah. Have a really tough foul mission. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of times what happens is that you'll kill 
probably two. You know, you'll probably kill two of them on average. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and then you, you may have one of them show up on the final mission. But they get really difficult, um, depending on you know how late it is. They get really difficult as they get more powerful. So it's really, it's really, you know, it, it's advised to go after them. But you don't have to. The chosen are sort of more organic in the sense that you don't have to defeat them to win the game or anything. But. It's really hard to see you beating the game without yeah. taking it. I'm sure some people like Beagle Rush is going to probably try to do that just so he has like the hardest possible yeah. mission. It would be hard, but to offset that at the end of the game, your faction heroes, if you have all three of them and oh, you love them up, they, yeah. are, they are very powerful. They're very powerful. Yeah, I, I distinctly didn't want to make the expansion pack harder than <laughs> the core game. I don't think it certainly, it, it didn't need to get any harder really, right. you know? Um, and on the highest difficulties, I mean, we tweaked a lot of difficulty to make the late game harder just because your faction heroes are so strong, but. Yes, yeah, so you've had to like bump up a little bit of health and damage. Mm -hmm. and yeah, definitely. Yeah, and the Chosen themselves are. Right, and the Chosen themselves are meant yeah. to. Oh, there you okay, go, all right, so that's it for her in terms of shadow mode. So now she can just run around and have a nice time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, I should probably actually start moving up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I think, I feel like I made your, uh, your chosen, like, the, she's really scary when she's in stealth and oh you, yeah, you have to like, she is. Kind of but you basically I just stumbled into her flank. <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> I was honestly going to leave her with a little bit of help and then maybe let her do one cool move right. and then obviously wrap it oh up. Oh no, that's fine because it could have gone poorly. <laughs> so I think you did, made the right choice. Okay. But that, again, that's actually, that actually does highlight how they work. I mean, again, they are, all of these systems, the reason why they're sort of like unpredictable like mm -hmm. that is, again, that's a case of like, oh, you flanked her, you took her out, that's great. And then sometimes it'll be like, oh, she'll appear and there's a huge swarm of lost and you're fighting the advent and then it's like, okay, now she's like impossible. And so you just have these like ups and downs that really, Yeah, that's I can, kind of the feeling of the expansion sure. pack. I, 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 um, I definitely got that from on the, a small scale, I think, from the, the Alien Rulers and the Hunters DLC. Just yeah, because right. like it really depended on when they showed up, was like uh, had such a huge impact on how difficult they were. It, you could be already in a fight you were sort of losing and then this insanely difficult um, Right, and you're just sitting there thinking, uh, yeah. it, well, you know, an interesting thing too is that the, um, the Chosen, when they appear, any sort of timers on the mission are paused because we kind of wanted, we didn't want to add that extra pressure, basically. Right. Um, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, 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 so timers basically are suspended while you're fighting the Chosen because we also, we wanted the player to focus on the tactical side of it and not be like, yeah, oh my yeah. god, I'm losing time. And so everything gets suspended. Okay, you know, I, I like the sound of that, definitely. I was always on the side of the timers. I thought they, um, they I know, it, it sort of, people have, are in two camps with them, really. But, yeah, and um, I, I, know, I, I honestly, in my experience, I think the majority of players really like the timers and what they did, mm -hmm. but I think for, but it doesn't matter, right? A majority versus, I, I, all that means for me is that like, it doesn't mean like I can depend on like being like, oh, only yeah, a minority yeah. didn't like them. That's not good yeah. enough, obviously. But it doesn't mean that we don't want to have pressure on players to make suboptimal decisions. Yeah. Like that's, you really need that next time, otherwise. I think I'm showing that pretty well because it, that's the type of player I am. I need the timers or some kind of incentive to not be a boring asshole when I play. Well, and, <laughs> and it, it's really interesting because then it gets to the idea of like, well, then there becomes a strategy that the player can rely on that makes mm -hmm. the game a little less dynamic for them. Yeah. So that's what the timers get I, around, but I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. I played the, uh, the XCOM board game for the first time very recently, and it has a, a sort of its own take on that, which is like you have an actual time limit to make your your decisions and so um, the mistakes that you make are often because you're like you haven't counted things correctly and you're just right. in such a rush and I think I think I'm the kind of player that benefits from having like a reason to to like stumble into some like a, a mistake and then and then panic otherwise I spend ages just right like, trying to make the perfect turn yeah it is the, it is basically the pressure you really want players to be forced to make suboptimal decisions mm -hmm. because that's that is what strategy and tactics is all about is getting into situations where you have a plan the game doesn't let you execute the plan you have to come up with a new plan and when that succeeds it's like the best feeling for, yeah. for tactics 
I'm like, you're doing fine. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm trying to remember I need to show off cool moves. <laughs> Does anybody have a scratch? Not yet, but I'm, I think, what was that noise? <laughs> something, we're in a hotel or something just exploded know. outside. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I'm a little wary of saying no one's taking any damage because I, I don't want to repeat the whole Not yet. Uh, Good, have a missed a shot moment. And Actually, I, what you see there is um, there, there's a new green bar on the soldier flags there. So oh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. There will, okay. actually. Oh, okay, so yeah. What you're seeing is that there's, it's sort of, you know, it's dynamic goes up. And Has that been decreasing through the mission? Yeah, really? it's been decreasing through I the mission. See. And so you kind of get a sense of which soldiers after this mission are going to be tired. Yeah, yeah so that's that the, the whole fatigue system, the fact that you'll need a slightly larger roster and have to swap people out. That's right. Lay on just a super squad for every mission. Right, right. And so... Oh, oh don't do it! <laughs> right over the shoulder. <laughs> the, um, and that also factors into whether you get knocked unconscious or mind control, like your will is based on that as well. So the soldiers with like the really short bars, basically. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Um, yeah, but cool. I, I think that sounds, that sounds really fun. And um, yeah, like just the, the, the idea that you, you're not told you can't take them on a mission, yeah. even when they're tired. You can take them out, they're just yeah. gonna, they might panic because it is still the same will stat that right. deals with that. But also they can pick up these negative traits. Right. You and and yeah, that's right. They can pick up traits. And then of course they're a huge liability to mind control. Yeah, of course, yeah. You told me about one that was sounded really cool, which um I, they're not none of them are like the end of the world, no, but they're annoying. They're and there's one that was uh like the the soldier might get really obsessed with having their, their rifle or their gun with a full magazine clip. Right. Which is something that a lot of us do in games anyway, which I think is a, a kind of cool crossover. So yeah, it would have been that when you moved up to take that shot, you would have moved, and then she would have said, oh, I'm gonna reload, yeah. basically. So then you'd be like, oh shit, you're just standing <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere now. And I think, yeah, I, I really like the sound of that. I think that's, uh, just because it's how I play first person shooters, I get really Oh, I, like, yeah, I'm the same way, R, 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 yeah. yeah. R, yeah. In fact, I was playing the original Prey recently, and I think in that game you'd never need to reload, and in fact, oh, I might even throw a grenade. And so I was like... <laughs> so you just chuck it. I never had any constantly. grenades left. Yeah, it was really bad. I'm gonna just overwatch there. Is it really annoying you that I'm double tapping two rather than Y? Yeah, okay. no, it's fine. I, people make their own <laughs> life choices. <laughs> even if they're wrong. It's very, very strange to me, but that's okay. All right, we're almost straight now, I think. Oh, yeah, they suddenly sneak up on you, huh? Yeah, and that's why these, especially the abandoned cities, that's why it has these like limited sight lines, because that makes the loss a lot more interesting if they can get in behind you, or from the sides, a little more standard zombies. Oh, there she goes, firing at somebody behind. No! Oh, oh, God. Yeah! yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> somebody got him. All right. Okay, so well, that should be fine. Away, I think I can probably... Oh no, can't quite take that one. One character. Okay, Swarm's on the way, I'm really close there now. So actually I might try and take these shots while also moving forwards. Um, sounds like a good idea. So, oh, they both got free. Oh, you don't like to see that. 50-50. Yep. yep. <laughs> it's fine. I still will get the other shot, I guess. There we go. Yeah, the sharpshooters are going to be, or well, the gunslinger in particular, is a real cool pick yeah. for, for the rust. Yeah, they're great. God, look how many bodies she's surrounded by. This is getting brutal. Uh, right, well, I'll get my shot back. So, is there a window there? I can't. Let's just do that, then run. Oh no, there's two left. This is. Uh, there's one around the corner. You're fine. Oh, you only have one ammo. Yeah, but I can maybe do the you slash. Know, yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah, I, like, I also uh, I'm quite enjoying the fact that it has to be a shot that, that is, is the kill, because otherwise, like, I guess maybe originally if that wasn't in the game, yeah, you'd like one ranger with a blade <laughs> would just do everything. Well, I mean, ra ranger, and so if you get the um, 
the ability reaper, you know, that's the one that allows you to basically, if you get a kill, you can just keep like chain sorting people. So that's useful too. Still, all those like chain attacks are still really useful against the loss. I think I might have. Oh, actually, maybe they can't. Let's just get to get everyone on Overwatch and trust that I won't miss a shot. Closing on target position now. No that's, that, that's worked so far. This will be fine. This will be fine. There is another swarm coming. I'm so close to the extraction, but is it? Is, this is still the case that you can dash into that and then extract, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. The first time I did that in XCOM 2 was like the biggest risk <laughs> I'd ever taken because I wasn't entirely sure if that would work. And it was before because we were playing with the review copies, so no one had like had a forum thread about the fact that that was a thing you allowed to do: take both actions and then extract. Okay. There's quite a few of them now, and they are in the way of where I need to go. Never miss a shot, never miss a shot, never miss a shot. Nice Missed mates. a shot, no. <laughs> you missed two out of three there. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. The hero unit, there we are. That was. That, that's what you, you need the faction heroes to show off at this stage. I think. Can't get everyone there, no. Uh, Alright, I think I am going to have to deal with this group. What is. Oh. Who can't make it? Uh, oh, it's yeah. yeah. Okay. If I. Yeah, maybe I'll reload, jump through that window, try and deal with that one. It's all about trying to just actually get them close to where I need to go as well. Cause yeah. And that's, and that's how they're, they're fun in the sense that they're different. Oh crap, no. Oh crap, what was I thinking? I, for some reason I was like, the reload is a free action there, or, or I'm going to get a free action at the end of it because I'll get the kill. I was thinking the same <laughs> thing, I don't know why. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's let the that. specialist do something. She hasn't done anything. Yeah, I know. And it like, only has one ammo still. <laughs> so Probably from the start of the mission. We can get we can get a, a shot. <laughs> Order's confirmed. On the move. Good luck. It's because without combat protocol, I don't really know what to do yeah, damage wise. I know. Target disabled. Yeah, well done. Good job. Hey. Good job. That was really useful. Uh, oh crap. Yeah. I think I might actually take some damage now. So there are how many through there? Quite a few, right? Uh, maybe like three or four in there. Okay. I could do with just getting a bunch of Overwatch on the go, but I'm not sure how feasible that is. Uh, you need to reload, so you really have no choice. I think I'm going to take the first bit of damage now. But it's fine. We, you know, it's good to show off the animation of the Lost or whatever. That's Let's nice. see it. I don't believe it. I think you're actually going to get through this unblemished. <laughs> I mean, in terms of protecting my ego, that would be great. Uh, yeah, actually, I guess we can go for the, get rid of one of them, maybe. He said, no. as he misses a shot. No, oh, yeah. Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is going to be just a bunch of overwatching. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. No, that's a miss. Okay, I think the others might not be able to get closer. I said that, they're definitely close enough. No, I'm good. No, they're not. Oh, God, why am I over? This is so bad. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they didn't get close enough. You're good. This is fine. Well, let's, our specialist can do something now. That'll be exciting. Look at that. There we go. She's a hero. <laughs> Everybody gets to be a hero. And there we are. Oh, see? Redeemed at the end. Look at that. Okay, I think I think that's all of them. I'm not sure I can actually get everyone over there. Yes, I can just. Oh, oh it just sneaks in. That's a long run. 
That's it, not a scratch. Yes! Ego not protected. Bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> the entire swarm converges upon us. We cannot hold this position much longer. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? This is as low as I can get her! No! I do not intend to die this day. I will follow. Time to return home, traitor. Interesting. All right, so that's the cinematic representation, but that happens in regular time mm -hmm. as well. The chosen can capture your soldiers. And yeah, so that's how that's how they get their, their knowledge. Yep. But they, that that can lead to a rescue mission. That you yes. Get to then then you can, that leads to a rescue mission. All right. So here it's going to tell us okay, so oh, a bunch of people. Wow. Are okay. These two form the most cohesion. Oh, so these two have formed. No, nah, it's not Bond yet. But if you click on that, if you click on that little icon, it'll show you where they're at. Oh, because they're really close oh, to cool. forming a bond. So wow. it shows you like who, what the compound the rating is. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I see. Well, wow, that's cool. And this is all like sort of randomly generated. That's right. So it would make sense. Now when you staff soldiers, basically when you put them on missions, you kind of want to put pairs together that have very high compatibility because mm -hmm. those are going to be the ones that form bonds. And okay. so you, you can kind of manage that. Or it'll just happen organically. You don't have to. But if you want to play optimally, you kind of say put two people together that have high compatibility. Sure. I don't need to do the promotions, but can I have a quick look at the heroes? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we may have chosen a different means of resistance, but our people fight for the same reason. Someone out there is going to want to take some screenshots of whatever I'm about to show. Yeah, and they and so what we saw that their ability tree is, is like what we saw before. So they've got a lot more abilities than a standard soldier, but needs also needs to use these ability right. points. They need to, to do it. use their ability points. Now, if she had a higher combat intelligence, she would have more innate soldier AP, mm -hmm. basically. Um, but as it is, yeah, she has to sort of choose between remote start. That's I love that one. one. Yeah. So that one is any any car. Anything that's explosive, a car or anything in a level, you can you can make it explode with a single shot and the radius and damage is doubled on it. Okay. So cars become really useful and it also it has no chance of revealing the Reaper. So that's, that's another way that's to very, damage. Very yeah. And then of course that's yeah. super useful. Cool. And then you can grab a right, and then shred from a couple of XCOM like abilities. The heaviest, you can choose the heaviest. Yeah. Cool. Alright. And and then where is Oh, we didn't. God, I was like, "Where's my skirmish? Right. Where is he?" Back. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you move on, you'll see. Like then, Mox has been captured, and so no right. So there's cool. good old Volk. Um, I yeah, see. They're so telling us here that he's been captured, and so now this will eventually we could do a covert action to find where he's being held. That leads to a whole new rescue mission that's all stealth based. It's nice. A different kind of mission. That sounds very cool. I like that. And got myself scientist. We we soldier. There we are. Alongside. Cool. Is that is that everything we are allowed to show at this stage? That's it. Yeah, that that basically shows off a lot of the new tactics. I say that stuff. like we haven't just been playing for like yeah, quite yeah. a long no, time. There's, no, there's so much more. <laughs> there's so much more. Yeah. Well, I'm very impressed. Yeah. It's. Um, I I think I said this to you uh, back at E3, but like obviously the trailer you have you, you have like two minutes to get across like yeah. as much as you can. It doesn't really scratch the surface no. of like what what this. Expansion is doing, um, and yeah, like there's there's loads of if loads of new systems that I'm terrified of how they'll all work together. Yeah. but excited to see in yeah. action. Yeah, and lots of little and lots of little touches too. Like if, if you go into the bar real quick, you'll actually hear we the um, oh the resistance radio. Yeah, there's yeah, resistance yeah. radio in here. The nice we still got the still got <laughs> nice <laughs> poster out there. Um, really yeah. don't like that, do you? <laughs> I love it. The, um, yeah, so then you know, in here, this is this is. Uh, Jake Busey, actually, and he's the he's the voice of Resistance Radio, and he's he basically spins any missions you go on. Right. He can spin them for um, Resistance. It's, he's great. He's way off tone for like the. He's very unserious. He's yeah, yeah. Very, and so it's great. And there's just lots of little touches like that that we've added throughout the expansion pack. That's cool. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for showing us such a big chunk. I I'm just in general a fan of when like something new is coming out. Being able to sit down with someone that made it and played this much of it in one go and really get into the sort of the detail. Yeah. Um, 
which yeah, you know what strategy fans are like. We like we'd love details. reading ability descriptions. Details. You know, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, nice cinematic. Let right, me just right. now focus now, on this tiny small thing. How much does that cost? How much does that one <laughs> ability cost? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jake. Of course. Really I'm really very it. glad to do this. Very happy. Cool. To do this. Never missed a shot. Just because this city was abandoned doesn't mean it's lifeless.